My name is Gary Nichols and I am a conceptual photographic artist from Hertfordshire in the UK. And this is the Imaginarium. The Imaginarium is a Dickens style, dark steampunk themed story about one woman's journey from ruination to salvation, told in a series of fine art photographic-based images over three books. The first in the trilogy is called Eva's Story and is the basis for this Kickstarter campaign. As an artist, the camera is Gary's brush, allowing him to create this epic story using the medium of photography. The entire story and every image is straight from Gary's mind. People often say, you need to think outside the box. But the reality is, if you think there is a box, then it's already too late. For Gary, there's no sketching, no planning. It's just there in his mind. Gary's inspiration can come from a song, a costume, or just how someone looks. Final pictures can take anything from one to 11 months to create. The Imaginarium was born out of a desire to prove that it's never too late to fulfill your dreams and desires. The first book has been four years' work to produce over 150 fine art images and thousands of words. This is a dark tale set in a steampunk world of wickedness, betrayal, murder and greed. Locations for his images are from all over the world, with Gary only using images that he's taken himself. The final pictures then effectively create a storyboard for the book. Every person in this story is a genuine steampunk. And in a lot of cases, their costumes are their own creations. Each image within the story portrays its own story. As an example, the image behind me, you will see that Warren Abernathy sitting in the center. He's a compulsive gambler. He's gone all in playing poker. He's completely unaware and that's shown by the smug look on his face, the fact that he swapped his wine for his brandy. He's unaware that the other six members around him are all in it together. The wry smile on the guy on the right's face tells you that. The person sitting in the front is holding two aces. There are two aces on the table. Warren is about to lose everything. Peter Walton is the genius behind the props used in the story. The gadgets, the machines, have all been designed and hand-built by Peter for the story, so they really do exist. What I wanted it to do was, was present the orb. So, as it opens, it, it presents the artefact in the middle. Um, that's, that's what I wanted it to do. I believe that, that that steampunk is a bit macabre anyway, so and I think this this suits this idea quite well. Um, that he's tried to replace parts of his senses, the eye, taste, that sort of thing, hearing, through through um, through mechanics. Um, so that's what I've tried to portray here, um, rather than just bits and pieces stuck on for, for effect, um, try to make it make sense. Peter also plays Dr. William Percival Stockdale in the trilogy. Eva's outfits have been designed by hand by Julie Walton, who also plays Eva in the trilogy. The outfits are created from scratch, painstaking in their detail. They're made from sourced Victorian fabric. The story starts with Eva Elizabeth Lovelace, born into a workhouse, her mother dying in childbirth. From wickedness, treachery, prostitution, secrets and murder, the plot twists and turns, each character having their own story that builds into the final sections where almost all unravels, in true Dickens style. 
with now 36 characters and 65 extras, no main character in the story is who they seem, each having a past that is about to catch up with them. The final scenes in the trilogy have 4,000 steampunks lined up, ready to do battle with the nemesis, to save the world from her power. Gary will be flying all over the world to visit steampunk groups, photographing them to build this epic image. Gary's art is printed on metal, limited to just seven of each, which he exhibits seven times a year. The Asylum, Europe's largest steampunk festival held every year in Lincoln, UK, is where it all started. A chance visit, and Gary had found the theme he was looking for. Inkwell Services will be designing and editing the book. Here, Tim and Joe discuss the vision for the book and why they're involved. I love a graphic novel. But this is a graphic novel gone off into space somewhere. This is amazing. Oh, I think the first thing was actually the images. When I saw the images for the first time, I thought, yes, this is something I really, really want to be involved with. Um, so there's a, a, a vivacity to these images that we need to, we have a, a responsibility to yeah. replicate. So we have, we have gatefolds, so we can have beautiful, huge images, but also no images will go over the gutters because then you break up the images, you lose, you lose. They're so highly detailed, you would use, lose so much of the image. One of the ways to make the text and the images pop, the whole book pop, is to print the, the book on very high quality paper, obviously, but. Uh, the images themselves will be printed with a UV varnish which will allow the, the brightness and the depth of the colours and the tones to come out but also the background will, will, be, will have a matte laminate finish so that there's a contrast between the two. The book will be offered in a number of forms. Firstly, the standard copies via the Kickstarter are available with £20 off the RRP of £99. The first 1,000 copies will be numbered and signed limited editions. The second 1,000 copies will be signed editions. The remaining copies will be first editions. 200 limited edition signed copies with two limited edition signed and certified 20 inch metal prints. And finally, 15 special limited edition versions with stainless steel and leather wet cut collector's cover. There will be a hand-carved solid silver skeletal hand, as used on the Necessity and Dr. William's mono goggle, as the clasp holding the book closed. Three limited edition signed and certified 20-inch metal prints, not available anywhere else. Each pledging for any of the limited edition and signed versions will have their name listed in the back of the book as a supporter. <laughs>